Hey, hi. In this video, we will see how to integrate Jenkins with Maven and Cucumber, or rather, any testing framework that is used using Maven as its build tool. Okay, so before we move on to Jenkins, let's first have a look at what we are trying to execute. So here I have a typical Cucumber test ng framework. I'm running three tests, and in all these three tests, I have just simple print statement. So my run file looks like this. I'm running regression tag. So that would run all, all my three scenarios. Okay, uh, so let's switch on to my command prompt and let's execute this once. Okay, so I do MVN test. I've already logged in. I've already moved into my project folder. So here I can see it is getting executed. So my framework is working fine. So now let's switch to Jenkins and try to execute it. There. Thank you. Okay, so the simplest and the most effective way to integrate Jenkins with Maven or other integrated Maven with Jenkins is to use the Maven integration plugin. So I'll go to my manage Jenkins. Then I'll go to manage plugins. I'll switch to the available tab and here I'll search for okay, and install Maven integration and say install without rest. Okay, my installation is finished and once this is done, I'll do a new step that is this uh, to define Jenkins home. So you can go to again global tools configuration manage Jenkins here scroll down and look for Maven and inside Maven installations click on add Maven then you can do two things over here. you can uh, add an installer you can use you can run batch command shell command install from Apache extract zip uh, right. I would say leave it to what it is. Install from Apache. This uh, this will install directly from Apache, and you do not have to worry about a lot of things. And let's give it a name. Let's say Maven, and then click on Apply and save. Okay. So now you have configured your Maven home, and then you have also uh, installed your Maven integration plugin. Okay. Next thing, let's create maybe jobs. So as you click on new freestyle job, a new job, you can see an option over here, maybe in project. Right. There is also a freestyle project option which we can use, but first let's do it with maybe in project. So let's click on maybe in project and then select the test I'll name it as job or uh, let's say test maybe job. So over here you will find that uh, it has already selected a build trigger. For now, let's omit this out. Okay. And straight away go to the build step. And we can see my build step is already populated. So it describes the root form and gives me goals and options. So over here uh, we will type in the command that we want to execute. So while running it via command prompt, we will executing MVN test, right? So over here, there is no need to type MVN because that is that Jenkins will put all the, uh, by itself. You will just have to write test. But uh, we haven't yet told Jenkins where our code is, right? So for that, I would say instead of locating the code on your local repository or, or your local system, why not uh, we try to get it from Git itself? Okay. Because in a project scenario, you will, you will always be using Git. Okay. So let's try and get it from Git. I have already uploaded my project on Git and it is over here. So you can use this or you can use any other code that you want. I have the link in description. So over here, I'll go to code and I'll use HTTPS and I'll just copy this. 
I'm going to pause the tree URL. Since I'm just cloning the project, right? So there is actually no need for me to provide credentials. And cloning is uh, a free to do activity. And I'm using master branch right now. So let's apply and let's run this and see what happens. So now let's you know. Okay, so we can see it is doing something, right? It got everything, it got it, it cloned my repository, well and good. Now it's starting everything. Let's just wait for us to finish. Okay, so my execution is finished and I can see that three tests got executed. This is same as the output that I got in my command prompt. Right, so this worked. Good. Now let's just go back to my job section. And you can see a test result trend over here that shows how many test cases passed or failed. Right. So let's just execute this once again and see what happens. Okay, so my execution, second execution finished, and I can see that it is getting reflected properly. Right. Uh, okay, let's now go back and try to do this job by using a freestyle project like well, right because freestyle project as the name suggests can do anything all the other stuff so i will type over here test maven job free no freestyle okay that's all i'm going Style projects over here you can see that the build step that was populated automatically is not populated this time okay. so first let's go ahead and add my git repository url i think it's already open so i just paste it over here that will work fine i'll go back and add my build step build step in my build step you will see a new build step over here that is invoke top level maven targets this was not there before okay this got added after we uh, used the plugin click on this and you will get a similar but not same uh, build step in this so over here for maven versions you will have to go and select the maven version that you are using that you configured so we named it maven right so I'll select that and in goals again, we'll just type okay, test for the command that we, had, we were trying to execute. Now click on apply and save. Now let's go this. Let's check the logs. Okay, it is So my execution finished and everything was executed properly. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we can see a difference over here that we do not have the result output over here. We do not see what cases passed or which one failed. But if we go and have a look in the previous one, the Maven project, we can see that it is given over here. So this is actually a very helpful tool and it can help you later on. So I would prefer for now use maven projects and avoid using freestyle for maven but that but again it is totally up to you and the projects that you are going to use okay thank you